Hi guys, welcome to uh, Robin Hood Shaving Artisans. Um, I'm going to use something a little bit different today and this scared the heck out of me. I was in a store the other day and I'm looking for some new soap like I don't have enough. And I found this uh, Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Organic Shaving Soap right this here. It's got all these little writings all over the top and all on the sides and the back and it's got some really weird ingredients in it. Uh, Let's see, it's got uh, organic sucrose, everything's organic in it, organic white uh, grape juice, uh, organic coconut oil, organic palm kernel oil, and potassium hydroxide, that's the only, about, the only one I recognize, organic olive oil, and I, I, I was thinking, how the heck do they know what to put in this stuff to make it a shaving soap? Uh, I don't know, i got to do some research on that. Anyway... They said they're family soap makers since uh, 1858, and they've got some other products too. And I, I opened it up a little bit, and first of all, it says wet your face, put it on there, rub it in your face, and then shave. And it's supposed to be super clean. I don't want to use a brush, and the reason why is I did open it, and uh, well, I put a little bit on my fingers and it was like glue almost. And I'm saying, oh my God, I might put this on my face and never get it off. So uh, you're going to be the first with me. And uh, call 911 if I don't live through this. <laughs> I'm in Illinois, northern Illinois, Waukegan. <laughs> have, the, have the medics come and drag me out of the house if I, if I can't get my face, my hand off my face. Boy, I stuck some there and it's still sticky. So we're going to try this for the first time and I'm going to let you know what I think of it. All right. Moving right along, the razor I'm going to use is a POC razor, open comb. I used to use this for my head. Really, it looks wicked, but it's really gentle. And I'm just getting over the flu, uh, influenza A. I was in the hospital for eight days. So if you hear me coughing, that's why. Uh, it's slowly but surely getting better. The blade. Anyway, getting back to the nonsense here, the blade I'm using is going to be the uh, Nasset stainless steel blade by Gillette. I love these blades, and this happens to be the, uh, this will be the third use of this blade. And I'm going to get some of this stuff off of here, and we're going to put this in this, this razor. I'm not going to use any pre-shave. I probably should, but I'm not. So let's tighten this down. I love this razor. It's about 35 bucks from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. There you go, just right there. They used to make it, I think, in stainless steel. They don't make it in stainless anymore. This is in nickel. I wish they'd come back with stainless. It'd be kind of cool. Anyway, no brush, just the soap, the razor, and the blade. And, uh, We'll take it from that point. I'm going to wash the face now for the first time. It's been about four or five days. You can see a lot of whiskers there. So let's give it our best shot and see what happens. I don't know if you've ever used this uh, peppermint organic shaving soap by, by Dr. Broner. Let me know what you think of it. And I'm washing my side face with a little soap. Get it nice and wet. My website was down on It was hack. Why somebody would hack my waving my shaving site, I have no idea, unless it's a competition. Maybe Paul H did it. No, I don't think Paul would do that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Alright. I'm gonna use a little Leave a little bit of soap on there, just because. And now, uh, let's see what we can do with this soap. I'm going to put some, oh my God, look at that. It looks like t pine tar, holy smoly. I read some reviews on this, and they said, uh, look at it. Let's it read some reviews on this, and they said, it's the wrong container for this soap. Oh my God, this, I don't know how this is going to work. I don't think it's going to lather too well, but let's see. Holy smokes, look at that. Huh. All right, what I'm going to do, 
is I'm going to get a synthetic brush and I'm going to see if I can make some more ladder out of this. Oh, it sure smells peppery. All right, I'm going to use this, uh, what I got here. It's a synthetic by DS Cosmetics, this one here. So let's wet this. Boy, this stuff is like like pine tar almost. You know, it might turn out to be okay. Who knows? All right, let's see how this works. It smells okay. Seems like it's lathering, but let's see how it does here. It's kind of watery. Some of the reviews I read on it said it's watery. It's dripping all over, you can see that. You don't want to do it on the new carpeting. It doesn't taste very good. Yeah. I'm going to just see if I can lather into anything here. One of the reviews said that when you shave one side of the face, the other side needs to, you need to put, oh, it tastes terrible. Uh, you need to put more on the other side because it, it evidently it disappears quickly. All right, let's see, uh, see how we do here. I'm going to wash the razor off, get that warm at least. I don't know. Maybe it's the razor blade. You see? Mm. You know, that blade is really pulling. So I'm going to stop the video here. I'm going to get a different blade. I'm going to get a new blade. All right, I got my blades out. Uh, oh boy, let's use a. Uh, How about a seven o'clock blade? I got one here. Sorry about the interruption, but I can't use that blade. It's just, either it's the blade or the soap is terrible, one of the two. We're gonna find out here in a minute. If I can get it out of this plastic holder here. I've only used seven o'clock blades a couple times. I got a hundred of them. All right, let's set that off to the side, take the other one out. And I think I'm going to have to oh, lather my face again. I don't want to cut myself in the interim here. Okay. We'll put the new blade in right now. I was hoping for a real nice shade, but we'll see what happens. At least I'm doing the experiment for you. All right, I got the new blade in. I know this razor really... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let me uh, work it in again. Looks dirty, doesn't it? Looks kind of brownish. Of course, when you put it on your hand, it looks like pine tar. There you go. All right, let's try it now. Oh. We go over the same spot. All the reading I did on this soap is supposed to be really good for the skin. But you know what? Being good for the skin does not, does not necessarily mean it's a great soap to shave with. It hurts right now.
Wow. And put some more on. Really pulls. Well, I have to admit, this is the worst shave I've had, and it's comparable to when I used a uh, Bic razor blade. I bought a hundred of them. I used it once, and I sent them all back. Yet other guys swear by them. I don't know. That was not uh, a pleasant experience. I'm going to uh, put some more on here. You can see what that looks like. Look at it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. They got the wrong container for this soap. It's dripping all over. Look, I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh. Well, I gotta be honest with you guys. I, uh, I'm not impressed with this soap at all. I don't care if it's made from products from different parts of the earth. The earth fair trade, they call it. Let's see if we can. Second should be better actually, because there's not as many whiskers to cut. I don't know how they can keep making this stuff. It's really garbage. I'm sorry. I wouldn't buy it again. Maybe if I have a bad enemy, I'll send him the rest of my soap here. Man, this stuff is just drips all over the place. I'm going to tell you like it is. I'm going to tell you, don't buy it. You waste your money. But maybe I should give it a fair uh, chance here. Fair chance. Now I don't know how I'm going to get it out of my brush. Really, my face is clean. It's the soap that's brown. All right. Definitely the wrong container. Oh well. All right, let's try it side sideways here. Not much better. It's not slippery at all. Ah, it drags. I can't even finish it with this. All right, I've had enough. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw that away. It's absolutely worthless. Clean my brush out. I'm gonna reach up on top and get some of my pure soap by Gillette. I'll wash this off my face and I'll finish my shave up with that. It's terrible stuff. Do not buy that soap. I gotta tell you the way it is. So I don't make any money at it, but I gotta be honest with you. This is, I got pure, this is great stuff. I gotta wash this off my face. If you did this uh, shave with that soap the first time, you'd give it up. So I'm going to do my second and third pass with uh, a different soap. One I know that works good. Pure. By Gillette. And I know you can't buy it everywhere. I don't know why you can't buy it in Britain. Maybe you can now. All right. Put a little of this on. Just like that. Ah, oh, this smells so much better. It's slipperier. This is one of the few soaps 
that you can actually use a brush on it'll actually whip into a halfway decent lather and it just smells so darn good all right hopefully I got our other stuff out of there this is what it looks like now so let's give it a go here maybe I need more maybe not there it goes I think it's pretty wet No, no, gentlemen, I cannot recommend that uh, Dr. Brunner soap. Maybe it should be marked Dr. Frankenstein. I gotta cut this all over my body. All right, let's use the same razor. This time we'll go with this way again. Oh, much better. Like night and day. The other one is like putting Clorox in your skin bleach. All right. Oh, so you know, I hit some of that in my tongue and still like burning my tongue. I don't know what you could use that soap for because I'm not going to put it on my face. You might be able to use it for hand soap if you're out working on your car or something. Okay. Do the upstroke and then we'll be done. This soap, this beer, really smells nice. I was looking forward to a real nice shave with that soap too. So I'm going to save you some money. And advise you not to uh, buy it. But you know what? They did the Socrates, they poisoned him because he gave advice. 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 So share, shave at your own risk with that. All right. It's an open comb. PAD razor.
And I might buff my skin one more time with this uh, razor. I'm sure you can hear my clock ticking. You know, when I'm shaving, I can't hear it. But when I watch the video, or I'm editing it, then I can hear it. I used to remove it, but now I just leave it. All right. One more time around the throat. I'll bump it a little bit. I'm going to buff this, so I'm going to, you know what I mean by buffing, right? I'll show you. I'll leave this alone. All right. If you uh, hold it at, a, I guess, 20 degree angle is one way, but if you tip it up, where you, you're putting a flat part against there, and then you can just go up and down like this. All right. All right, guys. That's it. Well, I still can taste that soap in my mouth. peppermint but it's horrible I should have kept the receipt on it I could have taken it back I've done that it's a good idea if you if you ever buy receipts that are soap any product keep the receipt I just take it back I don't care all right Nice smooth shave with that. The blade, the razor, but not that first soap. Let's put some uh, Humphreys Witchers. Oh, the taste is terrible. It's got, like, numbs a part of the tongue. Okay. All right. After shave, I'm going to use this Perrazzo to bring me back to the real world. Got a couple of little nicks here. And then I'm going to use uh, Dust by Urban Cowboy as an aftershave balm. I like this. I haven't used it for a while. The top came off. You don't need much. Oh, yeah. Push up. Helps to get rid of the wrinkles. Not bad for 77 years of age, guys. You know, I'm really blessed because I don't have any aches or pains in any of my joints. Although I got some lung and heart problems, a new valve, five stents, I think. What else? A couple of ablations. Okay, enough of that. You don't need to know my medical history. But for my age, I feel pretty good. Okay, that's it. All right, what I used here, Humphreys, which is, I have tea tree oil in there. Prazo for my aftershave lotion. The Dusk Urban Cowboy, super stuff. Uh, I use a seven o'clock, a new seven o'clock razor blade. Uh, I finished up finally with a pure Gillette soothing 
cream with aloe soap cream cream the brush I used was a DS cosmetics it's a I believe it's a tuxedo can't see the tuxedo on it let's wash it off a little bit maybe you can see it kind of a tuxedo anyway it's a synthetic half tuxedo PAD razor open comb three piece I've used it for over a year I love it seven o'clock razor blades I tried it with the uh, Gillette Nasset but it just didn't work out and this stuff is uh I tried the Dr. Bronner's peppermint organic shaving soap and I'm throwing this away do not I would not use this it's up to you if you want to try it I'll never use it again it's garbage really garbage so there you have it guys got to be honest with you uh, I hope you have some better experiences than I did on this shave and uh, leave your comments below uh, about any of these products if you like this you know refer this to your friends give them a warning not to use that soap uh, I can't believe it. it still tastes bad in my mouth anyway I'll have some videos in different areas take a look at them thanks for stopping in thanks for subscribing thanks for watching putting up with my nonsense here and if you have any questions or comments leave them down below I answer them all thanks for watching we'll see you in the next shave I promise you I'm gonna use a better soap next time talk to you later bye